my blogcast this week is can you be a leader if you're retired have you noticed how many self-declared experts on leadership there are these days on social media tons of them some of them bought the book it seems leadership for dummies in fact many of them wrote the book their book i might add i often look at some of their bios and chuckle at the years and years of experience some of them have amassed over the last mm, few months unfortunately the panic created a large collection of business people who for one reason or another found themselves unemployed or underemployed and while working from home may have seemed a good idea at the time they needed to expand their horizons and perhaps income so they became consultants and as leadership is a hot potato these days suddenly they became leadership gurus in some cases overnight I take nothing away from them, and if they can get clients and fees, then good for them. But it does make me wonder whether those of us who are in the retirement phase of life, or as we call it, the third journey, where there are countless real experts with real experience, developed over a large number of years and scenarios, that really do possess quality information and examples to share. They have seen the good times and the bad times, the roller coaster days. The problem is that today's fast paced and technology driven corporate culture pushes those who have passed their sell by date into the back of the room. They are led to believe they're past it. They haven't caught up with the new ways of doing business or running companies in the new world, whatever that means. So they have nothing to offer? Balderdash. Yes, there are new and fancy ways to do business these days. Some good, some bad, and some simply annoying. Progressive business relies on new ideas and has done for centuries, so no change there. But have you ever stopped to take a close look at your own company and asked what new innovations are actually being adopted? Not many is the simple answer. The age-old ways of operational management, financial controls and constraints, human resources or whatever they call that these days and much more are still as effective today as they were decades ago. People have feelings and a need for training. They have a need to make money to feed the family. They have a desire to improve themselves and get promotions. Basic stuff. So why are we fixated on the new kids on the block to tell us they have all the ideas and answers and that leadership should be according to their philosophies? Nonsense. So to those oldsters out there listening to this old fashioned technology, I say this, rise up and make yourself heard and seen. Get on social media yourself and tell them who you are, what you've done and how you can honestly bring quality leadership tactics to their company based on experience, the good, the bad and the ugly. You've been there, you've seen it. You made mistakes and you owned up to them. You learned. Now, share that learning with those who need it, desperately. Leaders are not born. They are not manufactured. They evolve over time. You've done that time. You've been to the cold face. Leadership in retirement may just become the new paradigm Go forth and educate.